for the performance enthusiast, there is nothing like 600 horsepower, especially if it's in a pontoon. Hi, I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine, and today I'm checking out a new model from Bennington. It's called the Q27 Fastback, and this thing is a racehorse. The key ingredient here, though, is its beam is eight feet, six inches, not the 10 feet that would be typical of a twin engine configuration. Now that makes it a lot easier to trailer this boat as well as to store it. Let's get right into some of the power and then we'll show you some of the other great features this boat has. Now the source of all that power falls to these two beauties. Now these are twin Mercury 300 horsepower outboards, of course, their color match to the colors in the boat. They give this boat strong punch out of the hole and a nice top end speed, in this case, close to 60 miles an hour. But handling that power on a boat that's only eight foot, six inch in width, that falls to some clever engineering on Bennington's part and the ESP performance package. Now the ESP package on this boat is unique in that it consists of a trio of 32 inch elliptically shaped pontoons. Now that maximizes buoyancy, but it also gives this boat a lower center of gravity. Those pontoons feature lifting strakes on each side of the center pontoon and the insides of the outer pontoon to give the boat agile handling through the corners. Now let's take a look at some of the boat's equally sporty performance features on the interior. Start with the Commander Dash. The centerpiece is a choice of Simrad or Garmin screens up to 12 inches. Now that lets me get all my performance data, see it with one easy glance. I can add a five inch screen to the right hand side for additional data. There's also a handy nook with a wireless charging port for your phone. Other features include a Rockford Fosgate sound system and a row of nicely lit push button switches. Cap it off with this nicely leather wrapped Corvina wheel. The Bennington would point out that that's the same manufacturer used by Lamborghini. Turning to the port console, we've got this nice solid surface countertop. Of course, with Bennington, it's got a little fleck that carries over the accent color, a stainless steel grab rail, and both USB and 12 volt ports. Below both consoles is lockable storage. Spanning both consoles is a sleek, low profile windshield. It's got a nice smoky tint and an attractive stainless steel cap. Of course, even the most performance oriented pontoon still has to put a big emphasis on seating. The Q27 features Bennington's quad bench seating layout. That consists of two parallel lounges forward, two parallel lounges aft. Bennington's sport interior package really pops with stitched diamond patterns on all the seats, including the high back, helm, and passenger seats. Those two seats are also cladded with fiberglass behind for a more finished appearance. Simtex vinyl is soft to the touch and easy to maintain. Now here's a feature I haven't seen before, the starboard, armrest flips down and includes a wireless charging port. And if you really want to do this boat justice, you probably want to consider this stylish cladded sport arch. One of the nice things to the many speakers throughout the boat, it adds two more overhead to give you maximum sound out on the water. If you've got the need for speed, but still need a pontoon that you can easily tow and stow, you're going to want to consider Bennington's Q27 Fastback. For Boating Magazine, I'm Jeff Hemmel.